Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of gift guides just like this one throughout the whole entire year, and I also make a bunch of other content here on my channel, so if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and join our little family, and don't forget, if you haven't already, to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England, and today's video is my third video in my gift guide series. I'm so excited to share it with you, and that is what I got my husband for Christmas. Now, I actually had filmed this the same day that I filmed my stocking stuffers, but the audio got messed up at the end of that video and it got messed up um, when I tried to go back and edit and upload. I don't know what happened, I can't fix it, so instead I'm refilming it, hoping it's not too late, and I'm also just going to add his stocking stuffers again at the end of this video for those of you who missed the last ones because the audio got messed up. So. I'm going to add those, so if you were looking for those, they're going to be in this video as well. Um, but if you haven't seen any of what I got my husband's Christmas... <laughs> if you haven't seen any of my past gift guides from my husband, this, I believe, is my third year to do what I got my husband for Christmas. Maybe fourth, I can't honestly remember. But it's still such a fun video for me to film. I love sharing with you guys ideas because I know it's not always easy to shop for the men in our life, our spouses or dads or brothers or cousins or uncles or co-workers. Sometimes it can be really tricky to shop for men and um, I hope that I can help lessen it up a little bit. Before I get started, I just want to comment on I'm hoping the lighting lasts. <laughs> I feel like the past number of videos I've looked atrocious. I feel like if I ever come to you and I'm like, hey, I'm going to dye my hair dark, I need you to tell me no. I need you to slap my face, I need you to like freaking, I have no idea, punch me in the stomach and tell me no. I don't know why it has to be so aggressive, but just so you get the point across, because my red is fading so bad that I look like a freak show version of Pennywise, which is saying something because he's already pretty freaky. So um, in all my past videos, I'm just like, man, it's rough. The lighting's rough, I look rough, so let's bear with it as the sun goes down now. Um, Anyway, none of that's important. I just, I'm working on my hair. So if you notice it's orange, I'm aware, all right? So as we get started in his haul, I wanted to share that um, I have my husband make me a Pinterest gift guide or what Christmas list for himself. I also make one too. Those are really, really helpful. We're able to share them with our family members to give them ideas, but it's also really easy for us to pick, um, be able to shop for each other. I normally shop a number of his um, items that he has on his wish list, and then I also throw in some personalized ones that I pick out. Um, the reason that we, I have him create that, one is he's picky, but two, um, sometimes he asks for very specific tech items down to the like RAM or gigabytes and all this type of stuff and so for the sake of having asked him a billion times feel anxious that I'm not getting the right one especially because a lot of those times those things can be pretty pricey I like for him to have the exact item that's linkable and buyable so that's what we do it's really really easy I highly recommend it it's really helpful if you have big families as well um, I've been doing it I think since college now and we have not stopped doing it so I highly recommend creating a Pinterest list maybe not this year because it's pretty light in the game, but maybe next year if you're watching this in the future, I really recommend Pinterest Swiss. So just about all these items, I know it's pretty close to Christmas. We are on November 13th, December 13th today. Um, so I know we're a bit far, a bit far into December, but all these are still shoppable now. Most of them you can pick up in store or you can shop online through Amazon. So I will have everything linked below. And if you're watching this in the future and you see something that wasn't available at the time or wouldn't get you fast enough, I hope this helps you. All right. Let's just get started, shall we? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna share with you are a pair of shoes. I'm really excited for these. Um, I like to buy him work clothes. Um, he used to be really involved into men's fashion and suits and uh, custom-made suits and tailoring and stuff like that. He worked for um, a custom suit place for years. Um, and it has really like 
broadened his horizons and he really likes a lot of suits and stuff but the job he works at is still um business wear but they don't have to wear suit and ties um but he still likes to look fashionable so it's kind of hard because he knows how to buy those things and how to dress and i don't necessarily have as good of an idea on that but we kind of guess guess around so the first thing he put on his christmas list is Wish, Christmas wish list was a pair of Chelsea boots. Now, I've been wanting to buy him a pair of Chelsea boots for a long time. I think they're stunning, but he's always been very like, no, I never wear them until he put a pair on this year and I was so excited. However, they were like $500. They were so expensive and I just didn't want to waste my whole Christmas budget on a pair of boots. So instead, I decided to shop around and see if I could find really similar boots for a fraction of the uh, price and I'm so glad I did. I found these Chelsea boots on Amazon. I think they originally range for a hundred then they were on sale for 88 and then I got them on sale for 55 during Black Friday and I just think that they are stunning. They're a really really beautiful deep like chocolatey leather brown. He's been having like last I believe last Christmas I bought him some um, like kind of those boots they're like short like this but they're I don't think they're quite Chelsea's but they zip and they were more of a buttery caramely color and they were stunning but he's worn them out like crazy and he needed a new pair of just really nice work shoes and I found these and I just they're so beautiful and they're also really similar to the ones that he linked um, so I'm really excited he's definitely had really expensive Dress shoes, I mean, we've bought, I think for our wedding, he purchased some from that were like handmade in Italy and they were ridiculously expensive. And he's had really, really inexpensive ones just from like Target. And we definitely know where the sweet spot is, I think right in the middle without spending an arm and a leg um, on a pair of shoes because he just wears them out no matter how much he's buffering and polishing and taking care of them, they just get worn out. Um, and then obviously the cheap ones just don't hold up, but having like a good medium priced pair I think works really well. So I'm excited for these. They're stunning. I hope that he likes them. They smell incredible <laughs> and they are from the brand. I'm not gonna, I don't know, I'm not gonna try to push that. Giffinessi shoemakers anyway they're stunning highly recommend they smell incredible and the box is really nice and easy to wrap in okay so moving on but still sticking with kind of like the work work clothes theme um this is one of his favorite places to shop and this is i'm gonna butcher this so badly but this is charles turret <laughs> it's located in london um they do have to ship internationally and so this will not probably get there in time um, for this Christmas, but I definitely do recommend them for a men's um, clothing store. They're beautiful, they're high quality, and you can normally get really, really great deals. We normally buy a number of shirts around this time of year because they are normally like a hundred something dollars and they bring them down to super inexpensive. So he picked out this one. There's another one that is somewhere floating around somewhere um that is striped but he picked out this one just a pretty basic blue kind of checked shirt um he really likes this brand because of the, the fit they offer a bunch of like extra slim fit slim fit all bunch of different types um and we've been shopping there for years and so he put a number of items down on his christmas wish list um and i snagged them all on black friday he also put a number of pants down from there, but their pants were not on sale. So instead, sometimes when I see that and he puts down really expensive items, I try to find his best duplicates just like with the shoes. So I found these two pairs from Old Navy. These, I believe, are the chinos. Um, I got this really beautiful pair of, they're called like textured gray. I don't know, I think they're really nice. They feel really good. These are the ultimate skinnies, built in flex. I'm hoping that they don't stretch out. I bought him a pair last year if you guys watched, which we both loved and thought they were super cool, but they stretched out a lot in the butt and the waist. And it looked really funny and disproportionate on his body. So I'm hoping these don't stretch out like those did. Um, but they feel really nice. They had really good reviews. So I bought him a pair of grays and then I bought him a pair that are more like a khaki um, color. They're a bit more green of a hue in person than they're coming on camera, but I'm at bottom a pair of that. Old Navy has been having incredible sales pretty much since like the end of October. So I highly recommend if you're still looking for some good gift ideas to check out Old Navy. They've been killing it this year with their sales. So I got two pairs of these. I actually really need to get a uh, Navy pair but I totally forgot about it. I don't know why, um, but I need to get an repair to go with those. And then um, I got him 
a pair of joggers. I got him a black pair last year that he loved. I think these are the exact same ones, but just in a heathered gray. They're darker in person. They're coming off in camera, but they're fleece lined inside and they're so cozy they fit him so well in his cute little bottom i love them on him and he loves to wear them they're really comfortable freaking their joggers man i just feel like old navy does a lot of um men's clothes really well at least like we've had good luck for the majority besides those pants that stretched out last year but just a lot of things i feel like they do really well with men's stuff um and you can get really great deals and i got these on sale again for black friday for like nine dollars or something um and i wish i knew the original price but i definitely like their joggers um and those are perfect for like our pajamas which is what i'm giving him for his pajama option but are not like oh christmas pajamas or something he can easily wear to run errands and stuff like that during the winter time um if you guys have been following me for a while you would know that we have multiple traditions um during christmas time where we give each other um kind of like or at least i give him at least um a same type of item every single year and i don't know where it came from or why i started doing it but it's something that i really enjoy doing and the longest running tradition so far is giving him a shirt i started it on our very first christmas together and i think we are celebrating our eighth christmas this year and it's so much fun i love doing it and it's just i don't know it just it you can tell where our relationship's been the memories that we've made typically with the shirts i try to find a really cool graphic design shirt um, that is reflective of either his year or our year together and like an interest that we've had together. So we've had an office themed shirt, Game of Thrones, um, when he was really, really into Dexter, when I got him into watching Dexter, um, I got him a Top Gun shirt that he still is obsessed with, that he really loved. I love to find just fun, cool graphic tees. A lot of times I shop off of Etsy or Redbubble. Last year I got him a Gordon Ramsay one because we both love Gordon Ramsay and we had binged like Hell's Kitchen and MasterChef again for the 55th million time. And he loves Gordon, Ram Gordon Ramsay saying, it's raw. And I found that one and it was such a good, I was so excited for that present. This I'm really excited for this one. I bought this off of Redbubble, which is like similar to Etsy in a way where they're independent artists um, and you basically buy their digital work um, and you can have it put on a t shirt, a wall painting, a tapestry, all sorts of stuff. So this year I went with John Wick because he's obsessed with John Wick and um. He loves Keanu Reeves and John Wick so much, and we've watched it together, and it's fun and cool and everything. I mean, I think it's a cool movie. It's just not my fave. <laughs> um, but he loves that he's called Bubba Yaga. But the thing that kind of ties us in this year is we've gotten really, really into, like, synth wave music and music videos, specifically on YouTube, that have, like, this kind of vibe to it. They are so much fun to just jam out to and just spend time together and, like, talk or, like, read. I read to them, and we just love it they're like such a fun 80s vibe and it's just so good if you need to be put in a good mood just put a synthwave music video on it do some chores read a book take a shower i mean it's it's incredible <laughs> um and he, the led lighting i got him last year the rgb leds we can sync it to the music and it's i'm telling you so much fun so that's kind of the vibe i got this year is i got him one that is synthwave in the background kind of vibes um and with counter reeves i hope he likes it i hope that the graphic um is okay i don't know i hope he likes it i'm a little nervous but i i think it's really cool and i hope it's a good one this year so that is his t-shirt this year all right moving on so another two traditions we have um are we get each other a ring each year um my engagement ring was probably the most expensive piece of jewelry he's ever gotten me. It was like $1,000, $1,500. I love it. It's beautiful. But I don't like expensive jewelry. I'm just not even a huge jewelry person in general. I don't know why. I just never have been. And so I just don't want to spend the money on those types of things. I think it's just so expensive. So instead, I prefer to, we like have this new fun tradition where we buy each other new rings every year. We don't spend a lot of money on them. All of my jewels and gems and diamonds are all synthetic unless you can get a really good deal off like Etsy and they're handmade. Typically, we always shop small for them um, to sh support small shops, but also because you can always find just really unique pieces when you shop small. And so this year, last year I got him one that was a quarter 
and he asked for it. He said seen it on like line and thought it was the coolest thing ever and I found um, a small shop that was this random dude in the US who was just making using quarters and you could pick the date and everything and the state and then he made a ring out of it. It was super cool. This year I went back to kind of Jazz's roots. He's obsessed with carbon fiber. He loves it. He loves the look of it. He loves it for his cars. He loves it for accessories and gaming. So this year I just bought him a carbon fiber ring. Um, he's wanted a, a true authentic carbon fiber ring for a long time. His wedding band was carbon fiber with titanium on the outside and it was glossy. This one is matte and I think he's going to really like it because it's different than what he has. I honestly wish that I would have gotten a bit of a wider width. This is a 7 millimeter width. I wish I would have gone with the 7.5 or the 8 just to make it a bit wider but he's used to thin so this should be fine. Um, the inside is actually painted red. They actually, this shop makes a bunch of different ones just like this and you can customize the inside and some of them can be like glow in the dark or glow, which I thought was really cool, but I didn't know if it'd be too much for him. <laughs> so instead I just got this basic ring. It's incredibly lightweight. Carbon fiber is super, super lightweight. It feels really cool. It's, I don't know. I hope it's authentic carbon fiber. They're supposed to be core carbon rings. They're supposed to be authentic. So Anyway, he will tell me if it's not, um, but it's corecarbonrings.com and I really, really like it. I think it's really cool and I hope he likes it too. So that is his ring this year. And then, um, and then I've also kind of created a tradition now. This will be the third year in a row where I get him a new watch. Um, I started with my Yode watch that he has and he still wears all the time, the Hyde watch. And then last year I got him one that is from this brand Bobo Bird and it's still in such good condition and I got it for such a deal. And I honestly didn't think it was going to last very long, but it's, I think that's the one, yeah, he wears it every single day. That's his favorite one. And so I decided to get another Bobo Bird one. Um, this is actually similar to one that he put on his list that was also like $500. <laughs> My husband has ridiculous taste, but I feel like he always is like, just start there and then find something that's similar too. So he knows that I do it. Um, but this is the one that I got him. There's a plastic, obviously, protector that I'm not going to take off right now. But it is a kind of like a birch wood. Is it going to focus on it? It is a birch wood kind of background. Um, and then we have the wood inside each link and then a stainless steel band around. We've had really good luck with the Bobo Bird watches. Like I said with the last one last year, it lasted a whole year, still alive and well. Um, and so I'm hoping this one's the same. It's beautiful. It looks incredibly similar to the one he, um, had pinned. So I hope that he likes it. I think it's really nice for more of a casual, um, type of watch or something. It'll be nicer for like the warmer weather and spring colors. So because he has two very dark colored watches. So I'm excited. I hope that he likes it. And I hope that it works well for him. I mean, the packaging I think is really nice. It comes in this like bamboo um, container. It's not like in a cheap little wash box or anything like that. And I think it's nice. I hope that he likes it. Um, like I said, last year's was a big hit. So fingers crossed this one is a good hit too. All right, something that is actually not here yet is a, some, he has this on his Christmas list and it is a, um, he is a PC gamer. So that's his, he has this beautiful setup um, and it's something that's really important to him. <laughs> and so he had put a like little mini brush I'll have to put a picture up um, that you dust your computer or and your keyboard and clean it all up. It looks like one of those big, like those big long rectangular broom heads and then you kind of like buff but it's like a little mini one it's super super cute it's black and red his colors and it had really really good reviews on amazon i will have it linked below um but that's something that he wanted so that's coming and to kind of go along more in the tech line of things um i first got him this oh i feel like a hair on my face and i can't find it Ugh. i got him this cell phone stand um now in the back you can kind of see the other one that i showed to you guys last year that is just a basic one that can sit anywhere that is the most handy thing ever and is an incredibly good idea for stocking stuffers. I highly recommend that one. We still love it. I use it. I need it my own, but I use his. He uses that one. We, uh, same one. We both use it. We both love it. But um, at nighttime in particular, I typically go to bed before he does. And a lot of times for him to wind down, he likes to watch a movie, but I am like a super light sleeper and I just can't do it. And so he wanted a stand that he could... <laughs> 
that he could just have his cell phone because he couldn't, you know, have the TV on. Um, but he didn't want to have to hold it. <laughs> Last year he asked for something like this, but it was like the one that wraps around your neck and then it holds the, <laughs> the phone um, right there. I will say things have gotten a bit better and I don't have to get him that one. Instead, this one actually clips to the side of the bed it'll clip to the bed post or like wherever his dresser he'll figure it out but it clips to the side of the bed and so it'll hold his phone and there's a long arm that he can direct and move maneuver wherever he wants and it will hold your cell phone this also says i think it holds like the switch yeah you can use this for your nintendo switch um your phone if it's all phones it's just a bracket clamp basically um, this had really, really good reviews on Amazon. This would be a really good idea if you have somebody who enjoys doing social media, whether they like doing TikToks or they like doing Instagram Reels or Instagram Lives or whatnot or need like more of a tripod type of thing that they can put anywhere um, for their phone. This would be a really good idea. He's using it for it to hold itself so he doesn't have to hold his phone when he's trying to lay down in bed but it would be a good idea for social media person so he's really excited about this i hope that he likes it um it's one of his most wished for items <laughs> and to go along with that i also got this which is the samsung buds plus um he had put he has a habit of seeing a brand that he likes or just seeing an item without doing a lot of review research i I'm huge into research and reviewing reviewing a product and seeing if it's good because I don't want to waste my money if it's not. Whereas he's just kind of like, oh, it's a new cool thing and I really like that brand so I'm going to put it down or that's what I want. And it bites him in the butt all the time. And so he had put a pair of um, wireless earbuds on his Christmas list and the reviews were terrible. And so I was like, you know what, I'm not getting those. I'm not going to spend the amount of money and for him to hate them and never use them again because that's happened more than once. So instead, I researched and I found that the Samsung Bud Galaxy Buds Plus um, were really, really highly rated and they were perfect if you weren't looking for AirPods um, because he is not an Apple person at all. He's totally Android forever. And so I knew I couldn't buy him AirPods. Um, and so I ended, ended up getting these. These were $100 on Black Friday. They were such a good deal, but I still think that they are um, on sale. They're not normal price. Um, and I got him the black ones. I hope that he likes this item. It's so small for being something that's like normally so pricey. Isn't that so strange? I hope that he likes them, that they work out well. But these are kind of going hand in hand. He has his gaming headset. These aren't going to replace that sort of thing. But these will be nice for at nighttime when he wants to, you know, watch his shows by himself. Or if he wants to take these to go running or walking or working out or whatnot. If he just, he likes them sometimes to clean and have his headphones on. So these will be nice for that. So I hope these work out well. That's another one of his bigger presents. <laughs> All right, so before I move on to my husband's stocking stuffers, I'm gonna share with you Jazz's top two big ticket items for his bigger gifts. The first one is something that I have wanted to get him for a couple of years now, but before his gaming setup used to be right next to our bed and there just was absolutely no room but we moved over there we got rid of the old dresser got two dressers instead and there's plenty of room now so I'm so excited and this is something like I said that I have wanted to get him for a long time so I've researched for a long time about this particular item and that is a gaming chair so obviously it's not here it would take up too much space to even show you guys and I don't want him to see it but that is his big ticket item that I'm so excited for um, I got this on a really good deal during Black Friday as well. Now, like I said, I wanted to get him this year for a long time, but I also knew that we were planning on doing this. We did this back in, we moved all of that over probably in April or May. So I have been planning and actually purchased the chair way ahead of time because I knew we'd have enough space. Um, and then all of a sudden he decided to put a chair on his Christmas wish list, which I was really excited about that he wanted the chair, but it wasn't even close to be the same chair. This kind of goes back into the wanting something because he thinks it's going to be good because it's a brand he really likes, but not looking into reviews because the reviews for the chair were so bad. And this chair was way too expensive for the reviews to be so bad. It wasn't worth it to me. And so instead I 
had already purchased the other one and that one had incredible reviews it was like the holiday on the holiday gift guide this year the number one best like gaming chair on amazon it was a huge deal so i was like okay i'm glad i got that one however i am nervous if he doesn't end up liking it and he wants the other one but this one had really good reviews and <laughs> we always make that joke is like i'm always the one who's looking at reviews and sometimes it doesn't always work out so i'm really hoping it does and i hope that he really likes it it's red and black um, just like his normal colors are and I think honestly it looks way cooler than the other chair that he wanted and I hope that he likes it like I said it was a really really good deal on Black Friday but honestly I think that it's just a really well priced chair in general it's not incredibly expensive but it's not super super cheap either and so I feel like the quality is going to be there. Like I said, the reviews are exceptional on this chair and so I really 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 hope it works out and he really likes it. And the last item that I got him is something that I am so excited about it goes I'm the top two things I'm most excited about are that chair and this um, and it is a custom neon light that I'm getting his gamer tag name in so his gamer tag is just like his username what he uses when he's gaming and what people call him um, he's had it since he was like a kid and so it's like really special to him and he had been talking about really wanted something wanting something to go above his monitor area and he had mentioned offhandedly about getting like a neon sign he thought that would be so cool but I don't think he thought it could be done really and so I started looking into it and I found a really really awesome um, designer here on Amazon I think it's like an independent shop um, and it's just this one person it's not like some big conglomerate or company through Amazon or anything like that and it's like handmade it takes a number of weeks it will not be here for Christmas unfortunately um, because I ordered it too late but he's still gonna get it and I'm still so excited to give it to him and um, we got it in red because that's his color um, and I'm I think it's gonna turn out I keep looking like it's over there on the wall and it's not but I'm so excited to share it with him and give it to him because I think it's gonna be really really cool um, I will say that it was a bit pricey and the shipping was really expensive, but that is to be expected because of the nature of the item. Um, and this one, this particular neon light had a ton of really good reviews as well. So I think it's gonna be really great. I'm really excited. And this is technically actually for his 30th birthday present um, because yeah, it's technically his 30th birthday present <laughs> um, because his birthday is right before Christmas. His birthday is December 19th. And so this is going to be his big present for his birthday as well as kind of going along with Christmas. And I'm so excited for him to get it and I can't wait to like have it up. I don't really have a picture to show you because even the mock-up is just like text. You can't kind of see it in the neon lights. But I will have the seller linked below because they have really, really good reviews. And um, if you're interested in neon light, I would recommend them from what I know so far. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna move on to his stocking stuffer items. You guys already saw a couple of these if you watched my uh, what I got my kids in the Christmas stocking video. I'm just gonna start all over because I know my audio got cut off. So first things first, every time I include this normally in my kids' um, stockings this year, I didn't um, because they had already had a bunch, but I always, always, always include it in my husband's Easter basket and his Christmas basket because he always needs new underwear. Normally, we've been buying the Fruit of the Loom. They're like different ones. They're like this micro mesh thing that he's loved. And I've shared with you guys those in the past and you guys have loved them too. And I've gotten so many messages later about them and how much you were thankful for them because your husband or whomever loved them. Now, these are what we're trying this year. I couldn't find the other ones online, so I don't know if they don't make them anymore or whatnot, but these are the ones that just kept popping up, so I think that they're new. And they're the five tag free boxer briefs, cool zone fly. So there is like a mesh fly area that's supposed to add some coolness, some breeziness to the, the bits. Um, and I don't know if that's a problem with your spouse or whomever you're buying underwear for. I'm assuming it's the most men type of problem. He doesn't complain about it too much, but you know, who who wouldn't like a nice breeze down there? So um, they have really cute colors in this one. I liked the green stripes, so that's really why predominantly I picked this pattern because I thought the green were cute. And of course, you know, I'm sure that's not what he's looking for in his underwear, but it's what I'm looking for in his underwear. Anyway, it comes from a pack of five. I've said this in, my, uh, in the last video, but we are not bougie. We are not Justin Bieber who is like just buying or just gets Calvin Klein for life and throwing a new pair away each day after he wears them once. We, we go the cheap route. 
we left some good old pack of five boxer briefs and I hope these do well. So I will let, I'll keep you updated because you'll know by Easter if I repurchase the same or I get something new. <laughs> a lot of you guys recommended a pair of thieves, which I've purchased a bunch of socks from that brand. He loves the socks from that brand, but I've never purchased the underwear. So now that I know about it, I think I may try it out. Another really good option um, for stocking stuffers, I included this in my for my girls, are face masks. Now, I got him a, pa a pack of two. I don't know where the other one is, so that's great. Um, but I got him a pack of two. I think it must be with my mom. Um, this one is from Charles, Charles Tewitt, Charles Tewitt, Charles, the London based store, um, that he loves super well. He loves so much. Oh my goodness. The, the store from London that he loves. Anyway, um, he had linked both of these or both of the masks on his, um, Pinterest and they were having a big sale. I think it was like buy one, get one or basically something super cheap, um, on Black Friday. And I figured if I'm going to get them, then I'm going to get them. Um, the reason that he wanted these, this is like a hundred percent silk one, which is kind of a pain in the butt because it's hand wash only. Um, but he wanted something that was going to be more professional looking to go with his, um, professional wear versus like a cotton, like a cheapy cotton one, or like the, just like the hospital grade ones, which are probably better for him. But he wanted something that looks a little bit fancier, a little bit more professional. Um, so these should do really well. They do have elastic ties and then they have the little silicone pole guy to adjust. So hopefully it works out well. Um, I always get him body wash every single week practically because he practically, I mean, I have never met someone who goes through so much body wash. I don't know what he does in that shower. I always imagine that he's like, <laughs> like doing like hairstyles or like putting foam on him and like creating like weird things on. Have you guys ever seen Scrubs? I love Scrubs. It's one of my favorite shows. But JD, the first day before he goes in and turns, is he like puts shaving cream all over and makes like weird patterns. That's what I feel like he's doing in the shower with this because it, he goes through it so fast. So I got him a two pack. This is Old Spice, Pure Sport. He's moved on to bigger and better um, fragrances and bigger and better brands. But you know what? This was on really good sale. I wasn't about to spend so much money on something that he practically drinks. So instead, we're going back to an oldie but a goodie, Pure Sport. This thing is really heavy, was on a really good sale at Target. Um, I said in my last video that I would, I wish I could like wrap this because I think it feels like it's gonna be a, like a real substantial gift. But then it's even better because it's like, it is a substantial gift if you just ration it, all right? <laughs> I don't know why it like gets me up and inflamed. Anyway. To go along with the body products, I got him this Nivea Men Deep Cleansing Beard and Face Wash. Um, he loves the Nivea Men products. He is currently using, actually, the Nivea Men body wash. He really likes that one, and he really likes the lotion. Um, so I decided we'll try out this face wash. This is another thing that I just feel like just it's gone in a day. So I'm hoping I can teach him, like a little five-year-old, <laughs> to be like, okay, little squirt, that's it. You need a nickel. That's it. That's it. Bring it up for your whole face. Love him to death. Don't know what he's doing in there. Anyway, hope this works out. It smells great. It smells really nice. But this is a beard and face wash. So this may be nice if you know, you know someone with a beard and your stuff in their stocking. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. All right, Michael Scott. All right. Moving on, I got him some Old Spice pomade. He really loves the American Crew brand, but stuff is like $25. It used to be super cheap on Amazon for like eight bucks, like last Christmas, and it's not this year. So, but that's okay because I actually really don't like the way it smells. And we cuddle and I smell his head. And I know it's weird, but I don't like it, you know? I don't like the lingering odor. It's a weird odor. Um, so I wasn't, I wasn't super disappointed when it was on sale. Um, but currently he, he's using Axe, uh, pomade and it actually smells really nice, but I've had a hard time finding the one he likes. And so I, I, I looked at some reviews <laughs> and I found this one. This is Old Spice pomade. This had really, really good reviews. It's a medium hold and matte finish, which is what he likes. And so I'm hoping for good things. It smells great. So I'm not going to be bothered by the smell. Um, hopefully, but 
fingers crossed it does well. Like I said, Target was offering like a big sale on Old Spice, and so I got them for really cheap. Next thing, I always get him socks. Normally they're a big pack of socks, but my brother actually got him a big pack of socks this year. So instead I only got him one pair. I got these off at Disney store, and I thought this was the cutest little thing. It was way overpriced for what this is. Way overpriced. But it was a gimmick and I bought into it. So um, it's just a little ornament that I'm scared I'm gonna break. So I'm not gonna open it because I'm terrified I'm gonna break it. But they're just little alien socks and they're so cute. Um, we love Toy Story in this house and I was so excited that I found this because I just think they're adorable. So those are his little pairs of socks this year. I may put it on the tree because it's so cute. And then he'll find it next to a stocking. All right, this is the second to last item, and I think this is such a good idea to put in a stocking. Um, this is another item from Charles Turret, and this is actually made in Spain, apparently. It smells incredible. Mmm, it smells so good. Anyway, he put a new belt on his um, wish list. He needed a new belt like yesterday. This one was originally like 55 freaking dollars. It was ridiculous, but it was on sale again um, for Black Friday, I think for around $17. So I snagged it. Um, it's a really beautiful dark chocolate brown, which so happens, so happens to perfectly match his shoes. I'm so excited. Like, look at that. Look at that beaut. Oh, it looks so good. Anyway, so this would be actually a really good idea for a stocking. It's easy to fit into a stocking and it even could be kind of cute peeking out over the top of it, kind of putting the, kind of around the top. I don't know, I thought, I think that'd be kind of cute. Anyway, this is, <laughs> this is another item. And then last but not least is a good old fashioned trimmer. He wanted a new trimmer desperately. Um, he needs one for his face. He also asked for the manscaping one, but that thing is like $70. And I don't know what it's doing to be $70. Like how good of a job is it doing down there? Like, I feel like trimmers down there are pretty much a user, f like, it's based on how you're shaving. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe it makes it like gosh darn butter down there. I don't know, but that's probably a weird way to say it. It may be great, but $70 was a lot, especially because it's, it's only for your bits. So we're trying this out. <laughs> if he decides like, hey, I really want that, that could be something, you know, for Valentine's Day. I feel like that'd be a good Valentine's Day present. Um, but for his face, we're going with this. He doesn't like the three um, circled ones. He likes just a basic trimmer. This is the Philips Norelco. Um, 13 piece all in one trimmer. Honestly, he will not use any of these besides, oh, but there's a nose and ear trimmer. He may use that. He may use that and then the precision trimmer, but there's a bunch of other stuff he probably won't use. Um, he just needs a trimmer. He, he has the fastest growing facial hair of any man I've ever met in my life. And so um, he needs something heavy duty. So anyway, Hopefully this works out well. It had really good reviews. I know nothing about trimmers or anything like that, so hopefully it works out. I guessed. Um, all right, that is it for his gift guide and his stocking stuffers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said before, everything will be linked below for you to shop easily. The majority of this stuff was all from Amazon or easily picked up from Target or Walmart. And I hope I gave you some good ideas, even for something that's like, you may not want to buy something from like freaking London, but a belt would be a really good idea that we may not have thought of. So I hope I gave you ideas. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next up will be my last gift guide in this series, and that will be um, my kind of woman gift guide. I've never done a gift guide for her before, but I have a number of things I really want to share with you guys that are for stocking stuffers and or just actual gifts. Everything is shoppable, I believe, on Amazon, and so I want to share it with you guys really quick if you're looking for some last minute items, especially for someone that's maybe harder to buy for, maybe like your mother-in-law, or maybe you have like a niece who's like a teenager and you don't know what to get her, something like that. 
that. So I will, that'll be the next video. It should come up like pretty much right after this one. Um, so keep an eye out and then I will be done with my gift guides and I'm really excited about it because it's been stressing me the heck out and I just want to get these things wrapped in underneath the tree. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a holly jolly merry Christmas season or whatever holiday you are celebrating right now. I hope you feel loved. I hope you feel the joy even during this hard time. I hope that you feel encouraged in some way even if this is just a silly video about presents. I hope you know that you are seen, you're heard, and you're welcomed here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.